Hello, we're looking at our final series, at final part in our series, Security in God. And we're looking today at security in God's unconquerable love. And it's good to see you. We're looking at Romans chapter 8, verse 31 to 39. We read, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall bring a charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is he who condemns? It is Christ who died. The further is also risen. Who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long, we are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor anything other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Isn't that amazing? Um, I just want to ask this question again what comes to you in your life and pulls you back what is it in your life that comes and pulls you down and you need to realise that, that nothing not even those things that are pulling you down can take you away from Christ let me ask another question. Who is the most important person in your life? Do you know the answer? The answer is Jesus. He's the one who planned your salvation. And he's the one who died for your salvation. And now he's the one who holds you in the palm of his hands. He's the one. A central person in your life. And you need to know that nothing, absolutely nothing, is ever, ever going to take you away from from his love whatever comes at you outwardly or whatever fights you have inwardly you are safe in the arms of the love of God Lenski writes these despite Lenski a, a Lutheran minister writes despite their infirmities the Christian needs neither to fear nor to be discouraged more than that they need not be dismayed or depressed in regard to anything that may happen to them in the course of their lives you don't need to get discouraged or depressed today. We've looked at the text before, but let's look at it again. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. But God demonstrates his own love to us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. God demonstrated his love by giving his son to die on a cross. He gave everything for you. And he, if he gave his son, it's absolutely a done deal is going to bring you home. If he did that for you, then he's going to bring you home. Nothing else can stop this amazing love of God for you that he showed for you at the Calvary for his son dying for you. So we've come to the end of our series about the love of God. And imagine you're on the Titanic and the Titanic ship is sinking. And there's a lifeboat, and you jump onto the lifeboat, but you get pulled back because there's a piece of rope wrapped round your leg. You get an axe, and you cut that rope away, and then you're able to jump free onto the life raft to safety. In a way, that's what you need to do today. You're saved, you know Jesus, you're on the life raft, but the rope of the past keeps pulling you back. The rope of negative thoughts keeps pulling you back. And they're dragging you away from the life craft of Christ. You need to take the axe of the word of God. And you need to hit away at those negative thoughts. And you need to hit away at, those, at, at, the, at the rope of the past. And the blade that will cut the rope of the past. And cut those negative thoughts. Is all things work together for good. To them that love God. 
then nothing will be able to separate you from the love of God in Christ Jesus. That will be the blade that will cut the negative thoughts, that will cut the rope of the past and allow you to break free and enter into the joy of salvation, of, of knowing the joy of salvation in Christ. And I trust that that will be a blessing to you. Number one, God has a purpose of saving you and you are safe in that purpose. And he works every negativity and bad things for your good. Number two, God has an eternal plan and he's brought you into that eternal plan. And nobody's going to stop that plan of his salvation for you. Number three, he has given the gifts, the gifts of his salvation, the gifts of sanctification, the gifts of glorification. He has given us amazing gifts. Number four, he has given us forgiveness, the washing and cleansing of our sin. And we should not pull ourselves down or let others judge us. And number five, he has given us an assurance of his unconquerable love in Christ, that Christ is the centre of our life and nothing, nobody, no event will be able to take us away from his love for us in Christ. So I'm going to close in prayer and I hope this study, five part study was a blessing to you and if it was please let me know, please leave your comments and uh, please pray for the seminary and for a church plant in Manchester called Piccadilly Gardens Community Church and I pray that you would be praying for us and supporting us in prayer. I hope this has been a blessing to you and God bless you. Lord I just pray that those who have struggled and find life painful and hard that Lord this Bible this Bible study series would be in, would have been a refreshment and an encouragement to them and a strength to them and I just pray that you would bless it to their hearts Lord in your name and for your glory Amen Amen God bless you